Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing a demo on the channel uh, as part of Steam's Next Fest, currently going on in uh, February 2024. Uh, this is Harold Halibut, and this is uh, one that caught my eye uh, on Steam, and I saw there was a demo of it, so I thought, you know, I want to try this out. It's, um, I, I guess it's similar in style to a point-and-click adventure game, but it's 3D, um, but it's also the art style's very interesting. It's kind of fashioned, I don't know if it's, I think it's computer graphics, computer-generated graphics, but... It's done in the style of like a like a handmade claymation type thing, uh, which is really interesting actually. So um, apparently it's quite quite odd, quite <laughs> there's bizarre elements to it, um, but it looks a lot of fun. So let's dive in and uh, give the demo a go. So it was us in that uh, police picture, wasn't it? Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the Social District is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but I mean, that's pretty easy to follow. Month, it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the Fine Secretary so we can all get on with our day. Wow. For a criminal. <laughs> Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. <laughs> Here we are, Harold Halibut. So it controls, apparently uh, it's best with a controller. I'm not very good on a controller, so I'm playing mouse and keyboard. Uh, so WASD to move. Enter to interact, I think. Oh, I thought I'd be speaking to that person. 
So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant... Because... It was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything, whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. <laughs> Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. That's not suspicious. <laughs> Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Okay. So, can I go in here? Nope. Look at the rules. You can go behind here, though. Hello. Don't mind me. <laughs> What's this? It's really interesting, the animation style. It feels like, um... Like an animation, like a proper animation or something, you know? Not, not a computer game. Go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. So I think you got it from the intro, but we're under the ocean. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. I think we're on a vessel, like a big giant submarine or something. still in school, and your teacher telling me how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never snapped out of that daydream. Hey, that was the guy on the announcement. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Eesh. I'm sorry, Professor. Zach, can I look at that? Ooh. <laughs> I guess this is the, the tube travel. Uh, said we can only go home, so I get well, I guess we're at... Uh, I wonder where she went. She probably probably went to the all-water district? Oh, no, that's here. Oh, okay. I guess she went to the central station, then. Destination chosen. <laughs> we hope you enjoy your all-water tube system journey. It's like you get flushed. <laughs> Have arrived. The reason, sir, is that Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Temporarily we hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the light oh, I can run when I'm in sort of exploration mode. A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision. How is it that guy again? Is he like a clone or something? To this, sir, but I assure you it will be for the good of your overall long-term tube traveling experience. So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the Uh, so what's this? Oh, I can't go in there. So I suppose I have to go to the lab district. Uh, 
Destination decided. Enjoy the view. Clone or robot, maybe? I don't know. They definitely look the same. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. Yeah, so we're not on Earth either. Alien ocean. And I never know where to find you next. I feel like her voice might be quite quiet when she's slightly away from me, so I apologise for that. The, the subtitles are on, though. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time, it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who... Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, uh, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh... I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right. I think Harold needs bad. a tutorial. I, uh... <laughs> Top of the four buttons, right? Okay, that's tab. Open, close, PDA. Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. That's space. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. Okay, so we have main tasks. I'm trying to go down to... Um... Okay, I guess because it's the tutorial, it's not letting me. I wanted to go down to optional tasks. Let's try that again. Uh, maybe I don't have any optional tasks. So feed the fish. I've got to... Uh, Marrow, remind me to feed the fish. Clean the filter station. Like always, okay. Uh, what are add-ons? Space toast! Ooh, what do I do? I'm pressing keys, it's not doing anything. I'm just gonna press V. I <laughs> didn't quite understand what that was meant to be. What's this? Oh god, no, no, no. Come out of there. It's complicated. I'm sure Harold can't man and handle that. So what do we got? This looks like fish feeding, maybe? Out of food. Oh. Better ask Cyrus about this. Cyrus? Hey. Okay. Don't know who Cyrus is. Uh, on the telephone, maybe? Oh, what's this? Junk room. What we got here? Anything in here that I need? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I think on the side it looks like it could be a tin of fish food, but I couldn't interact with it. Seeing anything over there. Huh. Alright. Uh, is, what is it? Have I got like a. Uh... Oh. Sai is the guy to ask about fish food. Well, how do I. Okay. Well, I mean, that's nice and all, but. Uh, do I go look for him? Who's Sai? Uh, okay, we can try the lounge. 
lives. Here at Plant, ah, we have perfect time. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum, to you too. I was just hoping to watch some Sansu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Uh, I think it's one of those all water ad only models. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Step through it into potions, potions, and magic. Oh, okay, this is me asking stuff. Um, what is Sonsu's Ash? Yes, Sonsu's Ash. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, but with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth bowering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really begins. <laughs> I'll try to check it out sometime. What brings you to the lounge, anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now, so at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Okay. What oh, we got over here? The kitchen area. Not much I can do. Uh, level one. I guess we'll go down there. Maybe Sai is here. Uh, that's the toilet. I suppose we're looking at. Anything of interest in here? Really? Oop. Can I close that door? There we go. Oh. <laughs> close that one as well? No. Okay. Well, I guess we don't want to shower. Ah, uh, let's keep going down then. Filtration pump. Well, that's probably the other thing we got to do, right? Uh, not in there though. So is that like a little tentacle out the window? Hang on. Going down again. What's over here? Uh, Botanical Concepts Observatory. Okay, I guess that's not accessible right now. It's over here though. Oh, hello. Is Cyrus? Hey, Cy. Oh, Yay! Hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. <laughs> Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering that if Willy Jumble looks so cool. Fish blood is such a good fertilizer. <laughs> what does the release fossil? That's like real wool. But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the. Sorry, sorry. That sounds very interesting. But what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm. Oh, yes. Sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Now uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Yeah, we'll make sure our gills are performing optimally. What's that? We f we're free oh. out here. Did you <laughs> see that? Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. 
Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull. <laughs> what was that all about? Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ah, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? <laughs> yes, on all those little flyers, handwritten too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? Fish are conspiracy nuts. What was that thing about the notebook? All right, so I think maybe the filters that we need to get to are down these stairs. So let's go do those before we go back to the fish. doing this? Don't know what I'm doing. Did that do it? <laughs> I Clean as a whistle again. Oh, there we go. Is that being um, taken off our task list now, then? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, well, let's go back up to the fishies. I like his default walk speed is a little bit on the slow side, so the song's sort of jogging everywhere. Holding down shift to run. Oh, no, it's back in the lounge. Uh, lab. Uh, here we go. Right, so let's put the fish food in the fish food machine. Little fishy? Your little dishy is now served. Okay, Herald Bot Diagnostic Report. Scanning. Scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation. Minimal. <laughs> Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination. Agora Arcades. So what, there's another notebook thing there. What, what is it about this notebook? Oh, is it him, is it him doing drawings maybe? Like now it's a picture of fish doing stuff. I can't um, uh, change the pages on that. Or at least I don't think I can. Okay. So go okay, so we need to go back to the, oh, hello. What did I do? Oh, okay, there's <laughs> steps down there. Fair enough. No, we want to go through the door. What's this? What am I doing? What did I do? I have no idea. Let's uh, let's let's leave before we <laughs> before we break something. <laughs> Let's go back to the tube transport thing. Ah, 
out why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Okay, well, we completed that task. Okay, watch the announcement. Okay, I guess we could go to the telly in the lounge. Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Oh, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars, not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did, and we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth, and where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. Boiling seas. And then... We made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlechop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. <laughs> Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio buoy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the buoy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure, makes for some nice gossip. 
But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo! We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? Inner space, great yeah. film. <laughs> Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Okay, claro. Yeah, at least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep, we've gotten to know each other well. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Errol. Alrighty. Um, we probably sleep in the lab then. We already found what we think is the likely to be the bedroom. So if I open the notebook now, we should have done another picture, I think. Oh, oh yeah, look. Where's that? He's not very good at drawing, is he? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll leave this up. I don't know why I brought that down or what it does. It could be food, maybe. I don't know. Let's go to bed. Oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. I don't know what AC is, but I guess it's the day they left Earth. It's 18,000 days later. Okay, what should we go and have a look at? Uh, what's, in our, what's in our diary today? What's on our to-do list? Nothing. I expect they're be something to do in the lab. Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Okay. Now, activate the switch next to the bore to open the sample shelf. Oh, that's a sample shelf. Not food. <laughs> is in the container on the lower right. You remember your Got left it. and right? Bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. Et voilà. Check the microscope and finally you'll see what I mean. All right, let's have a gander. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I 
dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one for... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Okay, so I think AC and BC, I think it's before and after crash, if I had to guess. We've been down here for like... Did it, was that days or years? I don't think we've been down here 18,000 years. It must be days. I'll, I'd have to go back and I didn't really pick up on it. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're a microwave boy. So, you do remember me. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him. Which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. <laughs> obviously made a big impression on her. So... Dare I ask, what is it? So, Bridget told me about some kind of energy shortage, and to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. Yes, she mentioned she may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind problem. It's speculative, and now isn't the time. That all? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. <laughs> cool. Well, I think we'll probably leave it there for now. Um, with kind of narrative games like this, I don't want to, you know, spoil too much. Particularly as it's something that, you know, I, I think I'd probably play this on the channel when it comes out. I don't think it has uh, a release date currently. Um, I think it just says coming soon. Let me just check that. Yeah, it just as 2024. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me know in the comments if it's something you'd uh, you'd like to see more of on the channel as well. I think there's there's obviously something going on here. I suspect it's something to do with um, the initial crash. Maybe they maybe they didn't maybe they weren't forced down onto the planet. Maybe there's some sort of corporate conspiracy going on here that's keeping them down under this water. I don't know. It's uh, but I'm interested to find out. Um, I don't think it's giving too much away. It's in the trail. It's quite heavily in the trailers. It might even be in the cover art, which I haven't looked at yet, but I'll probably use for the thumbnail. Um, but I, th I think they, they find an alien um, who can kind of talk and, and show us around and stuff. Um, so I think there's a lot of interesting stuff to come. But yeah, I don't want to give too much away, really, in, in this sort of just look at the demo. Um, but it's, it's enough to tell me that I'm, I'm pretty intrigued to find out more. And hopefully you are too. Let me know in the comments, as I said. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. And also, if you're watching and haven't already subscribed to Boring Dad Gaming, it'd be amazing if you could do that as well. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you elsewhere on the channel. As to what's coming up, I've got a few more demos planned for, for Next Fest. Um, and probably looking beyond that, the next full game I think I'll feature on the channel is uh, probably going to be The Thaumaturge, which releases on the 20th of February. So uh, check in for, for other content. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks very much, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye for now.